Hey y'all, can everybody see me? Whew, I'm on my laptop. Y'all, I apologize for making videos while I'm lying down, laying down in the bed, honey, but uh, uh, I worked all day and I'm I'm a little bit tired. I'm a little bit tired, but I'm going to try to come on and do a little bit of videos for you guys, okay? All right, let's move along. Let's move along. All right, ladies. What do I do? If a married man is trying to pursue me. Well, first let me say this here. Because I ain't been saved all my life, honey. I have dated a couple of married men before in my life. Yes, I have, honey. I've dated a couple of married men before in my life. <sighs> I didn't have a bit of sense, child. I had about two cents then. Now I got about 50 cents, so I know a little bit better, and I'm working on the dollar. I'm working on the dollar. The Lord is helping me, okay? So I got about 50 cents now. <laughs> I got a little bit more sense. Uh, try to, you know, live my life a little bit better now, so I don't do those things no more. But if a man, I mean, the answer is pretty much simple. You know what I'm saying? I, Me and my sister, we asked our dad, why do men cheat? And he said the reason men cheat is because the women let them. <laughs> Hey, it might be a point there. That might be a point. So, into who? If a married man is trying to pursue you, just tell him no. No. And sometimes women be like, well, I didn't know it was married. Well, when you meet somebody, ask them. Shall I ask a bunch of questions when I meet a man? I ain't met one in a long time, but I still got the questions I want to ask. But, uh, no, ask them if they married. So, some men will tell you the truth. They will. They'll let you know if they're married or separated or whatever's going on with them or divorced. But if you got a man that's trying to pursue you that's living in the house with his wife, you need to tell him no. That right there lets you know that's a lack of character. And it's not godly. Amen. Especially to save women. If you a Christian, you know good in John Brown. Well, you ain't got no business dating no married man that's living at home with his wife. I don't care what he say. I don't care if he say she fat, she gain weight, she don't cook, she won't clean. Well, he need to go home to his fat, won't cook, and don't clean wife. Amen. Amen. Because you can't, you can't do nothing to help him, honey. Nothing. Not nothing. Stop dreaming. Stop fantasizing. No, you is out of order. Amen. You out of order. Do not date a man of a man trying to pursue you and he's murdered. He got a wife at home. No, you tell him that joker no. And let him go about his business. Don't accept no gifts. Don't accept no money. Because you know what? That's been disrespectful. Not only to God, but it's been disrespectful to another female. To another female. It's been disrespectful to another female. You won't want nobody to do you like that, so why do somebody else like that? If he won't respect his wife, at least you can respect her. You respect her enough as another woman, as another female, and tell him no. And don't be looking at him with no googly eyes talking about... No, 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 I don't date. No, you straight up and flat foot tell that devil, no. Get out of my face. Well, he sent me something. He sent me something on my job. Send it back. You ain't got to accept no gifts from the devil, honey. No, I don't care what he sent. Y'all don't get money. It don't matter. Gifts don't mean a thing, honey. They don't. So of a married man is trying to pursue you. Send him on his murdered way. His murdered way, okay? But you ain't got no business dating no married man. None whatsoever. God got something better for you. The will of God is not for you to date somebody that's married. The will of God is for you to have your own man. All right? My God, pray. Let You pray for him. Well, really, don't even get into that, because that'll be a bunch of mess, too. Yeah, men talking about they need you to pray for them. No, go get your pastor to pray for you. Go get another brother to pray for you. You don't need no single woman praying for you. That's a trap, honey. 
That's an old trick. No, ain't no single woman need to be having no private time praying for no married man. Girl, bye. You gonna be making footprints in the ceiling before midnight. Now, I'm telling you what I know. That prayer don't last long, honey. My phone ringing. Well, my phone ringing. So I got to go. If a married man pursuing you, tell that joker no. Hold on, y'all. See who calling me. Ooh. It might have been my sister. Hold on. Don't make no sense. Now, you know people in the world, they do what they want to do. They don't care the man married or not, honey. Yes, Londa. Yes, now, okay. They don't care, care if the man married or not. If he give them money and pay their bills, they're going to take it. They ain't stunt his wife. Hey, you call. They got who? I don't want no blue bonnet. I don't think that's no good ice cream. Um, it don't don't get. I don't think blue bonnet's no good ice cream. Let me try the turkey heel. I ain't never tried that. Yes, ma'am. Say what now? Okay, then. I'm making a video. Bye. She get me some ice cream. We're gonna try we're gonna try the turkey heel ice cream. I ain't never tried that. But, um, yeah. Now, women in the world, well, not all women. You got some women that's not saved that got better standards than women in the church. They do. They won't talk to a married man, but some women in the church will. And you know some women in the church say, well, he married the wrong woman. What they got to do with you? Hello? There ain't no plastic on top of them. No covering for the ice cream top. Yeah, well, find one that's sealed. I don't know what to do. I hate ice cream like that. Well, never mind. Now I'm going to meet some ice cream, some butter pecan. Was they, well, in the ice cream, do I have a seal on it? Do they seal ice cream? Well, get a little one then. That's, that's fine. Well, all right then. Whatever. Well, you interrupted my video. If you don't see nothing, then don't get none. I know I don't want no nutty buddy. All right, then. Bye. Trying to find me some ice cream. I don't like ice cream when you open it up and it, you know, you just can lift the top of the ice cream. I don't like that because anybody could open it up and cough in it and then cover it back up. You know, people mean. So anyway, what was I saying? Uh, there's some women in the world got better standards than people in the church. And the child, is she calling me back? Hello? Shalonda. Shalonda. She must have mean to call me. But anyway, they do. I think I was saying some women say, uh, he married the wrong woman. Well, that ain't got nothing to do with you if he married the wrong woman. What it got to do with you, honey? Sanctify yourself, honey. Be holy and make righteous choices. 
All right. So that's what you do if a married man is pursuing you. If a married man is pursuing you, you tell him to the to, to go. You not interested. You not interested. Don't give him no time, honey. I'ma tell you, let the devil ride, he gonna drive. Alright? And the same way he cheating on her, his wife, he gonna do you the same way. You need a man with character. A godly man. You don't you don't need nobody else's husband. You don't need nobody else's boyfriend. Okay? Alright then. Anything else I need to say? Y'all ladies can chime in. If a married man is trying to pursue you, tell him no. In o. Simple as that. It ain't cute. It ain't funny. Tell that joker no. And there you have it. Love y'all. Thank you so much. Toodles.